peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA podcast. I'm your host, Sky. We got your host, Damien, in the building. Special guest, Vinny is back. Warren is back. Neve is back. And y'all already know, the Plus Express is, is choo-chooing ahead. We have taken off. We're, but we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that because we absolutely <laughs> have to. Uh, Jason, CJ, we don't know what's going on. A whole bunch of technical issues. Um, but if you guys didn't and y'all want to see Jason's reaction as well, we did do a video that came out on Sunday with our quick reaction to everything. But um, eventually we will get Jace back on here to, you know, put the fire to him. Because even though at the end he switched and went with Max, y'all know for the last couple of months he's been on here trying to just dog me the whole time about picking max but uh yeah we'll get into it usc 300 just passed you guys let's um real quick how'd you guys feel about the cart mm, 10 out of 10 <laughs> did it live up to your expectations i'll say 9.8 out of 10 what would have made it a perfect 10 <laughs> wait 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 we uh, you with... you... If you did i didn't this fall shit. asleep during uh Alderman Stern versus Calvin Cater. Uh, I told you. Yeah. I knew you wasn't allowed to say that. I knew mm, you yeah. said it. I knew it. Come on. Kayla Harris is like, see. first time, boy? First time? <laughs> yeah, the, Ka- yeah, I, the Kayla Harris versus Holly Holmes yeah. was actually interesting. I, yeah, I regret everything. Kayla was Holly like, Holly let me man. show you a Khabib. Bam. Look. Bam. And then, <laughs> that's what she was, did. And especially when like, Holly Holmes tried to baby, take baby, down Kayla baby. Harrison. The smartest thing she could have possibly done, trying to take her down. Yeah, yeah, sure. Take down the judo girl makes perfect sense. <laughs> right. I'm giving. I'm, what about uh, you, Damien? I give it. I give it ten out of ten. I mean, we started off with Cody Garbrandt versus Figgy. I mean, <laughs> early prelims. <laughs> Come on now. Crazy. Come on now. Mm. We starting the car yeah, off I like mean... that. It had to be a bear. <laughs> I mean, you had everything. You had KOs. You had. Very last motherfucking second KOs. You had submissions. You had controversy. You had all kinds of shit. How could it not be? How could it not be? Someone went to sleep, woke up, and finished the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was nuts. That was oh, nuts. I know which one. You, uh, I know. I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah, I give it a. I give it a 10 out of 10. It, it was absolutely just, it was exactly what we look for when we're talking about a pay-per-view fight. Like that's the type of card that like, if you're paying as you should be for the pay-per-view, you know, <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it for it. Um, I mean, from top to bottom, it, it was absolutely insane. Um, the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts, facts, facts. Um, I know Damien has to get out of here soon. Did you go ahead and load off any of your comments, rants, anything that you have to say about the card? Um, <clears throat> I just want to say, <laughs> I just want to say, Max Holloway is that nigga. I'm going to say it. I'm going to stand on that. I'm going to stand yeah. on that. The way he just slept Justin Gaethje in the last, very last second, in the most gangster fashion possible, pointing at the floor. Come on, let's do this. That right there. That 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 made it a ten out of ten for me, honestly. I don't care Facts. what else happened before that. I don't care what happened after that. That right there made it a ten out of ten alone, hands down. What's up, CJ? Hey. Yo, my boy. Yeah, I can hear you now. Here we go. Wow, Jason, hey. CJ, pop up at the same time. That's crazy. Same time. <laughs> Jason, CJ, two uh... of the shadow realms. <laughs> Is that a black joke? And back. <laughs> <laughs> um, just real quick, uh, y'all go ahead and give your rating one out of ten for UFC three hundred. Go on, CJ. Uh, I give it a a nine point five. I just don't give okay. anything tens. Just anything, why are you huh? rushing? UFC three hundred just it's just anything, huh? <laughs> Crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you rushing? You're that teacher who just says in the beginning of the season, hey, I don't give 100%. I just personally don't, I don't think nothing in this world is perfect. What about you? When it comes to like scoring things I, like that, I just. And they say I'm emo. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that's how I am. I do, I do reviews on TikToks and stuff like that. I just don't, I just don't give anything a 10. 
Damn, bro, well, put a damper on the whole mood. Damn. There was a stinker of a fight on the car, so it's not like oh, yeah, I'll you know, Aljo did bring the bring the, the, the pace down a yeah. little bit. So. I mean, yeah, but I the like, but it was an interesting fight. It was interesting to see him go up to that weight class and still be able to do what he did. He was dumping him on his head and shit. Like I get it, I get it, but yeah. it was still an interesting fight. It, it wasn't something that you would go and take a break from. You know what I mean? But I, I, def- I definitely could have took a break from that one. Nah, I, I also think we, I also think we, we like it was pretty foreseen. Like when, when that fan got Dana to like bring up the bonuses to three hundred thousand, Aljo was the one who was celebrating the most, and everyone was I like, saw. Aljo, Aljo, there's no way you're getting the bonus." Nah. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Yes. Fact. Right, um, for me, the card is there you go. Nine point three. Oof. Uh, Sky, so y'all, can you y'all are you able to move the him? same the same the same energy or no? I uh, you know Jason wants to fuck with you. You know he just wants to fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's um, it. What what would make we'll it a ten, Jace? Um, I don't think that. I think uh, kind of. I think just going back to it. Um, shit. I mean, fuck. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what a ten is. I'm o- unlike my counterpart here. I'm definitely open to the idea of a ten. I would say for me that is probably easily in the top five UFC cards I've ever seen in my life. Mm. I would agree. Mm. I gave yeah, it a ten yeah, out of ten. Y'all acting like a nine point five ain't passing with a with a good ass grade or a nine point three is not a good ass grade. Like like Jay said is what top five, top ten for sure you're right on. That like that's an amazing amazing uh score. It was the answer for me that you brought four point two, uh three point ones and a, a five point like a nine point five and a nine point three is pretty solid. So, so, mm-hmm. so for me personally, I don't think it's the score that you said. It, it's a simple fact that like you was like, nothing can be perfect, nothing can be a ten. Oh, oh that's just why. Me. That's my life. Yeah. This nigga, but I'm mean, gonna literally come down and fight John Jones, and I'll be like, yo, that's a nine point seven. So, real quick, um. Damien was just letting us know, like, he was going off on Max Holloway because uh, Damien's got to get out of here. He does have a fight oh. coming up. Uh, if y'all go to his page, as y'all can see, the little Instagram right there, uh, he does have shirts to where y'all can support his next upcoming fight. So make sure y'all go and show him some love. You know what I mean? Go back through some Street Beasts. It's Street Beasts, right? Yeah, Street Beasts. First round KO. Yeah, Mr. go Man. ahead and watch. Yeah, watch Mr. Man. Um, but, yeah, did you have anything else that you want to highlight about UFC 300? Nah, just that it was a dope overall experience. I haven't watched a card from top to bottom like that in a long time, and it was it was great. It was great. I had a great time with this card. Uh, and then even the – I like the celebrations. I like the – yeah, the, the post-fight press conference, you know, hearing the upcoming fights. You know, it, it was dope. It was dope overall. I knew. Awesome. I knew as soon as Mexican uh, Gagey out, Scott screamed like she was in a black shirt. I knew she was. <laughs> I, I, when I saw the instant reaction, her voice got more hood. I was like, damn, she sounded more deep. Oh, shit. <laughs> she screamed. I bet mean, she didn't stop talking about it in her sleep. I guarantee she didn't stop talking about it. I bet mean, she like, text every single motherfucker like, you uh-huh. ain't shit. You know anything. Fuck uh-huh. you. You uh-huh. ain't shit. Over yeah. and over again. And she was like drinking Jinxie tea and kept doing it. You didn't give a fuck. Yeah. And uh, the Pe- best part. Oh, who got pillow hands? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I apologize for that. I apologize for that. <laughs> I, I was the only one who privately like, messaged her, like, I'm sorry, I apologize to Max Holloway. <laughs> you know, the thing is, the thing is, when I, that, that was such a cool thing, how Alex, like, literally got coin kick. And it, it's like that meme, like that meme from, like, from Woody, the way he just holds his hand, he's like, let him cook. I said, yep. <laughs> let him cook. Sir! And he just, like, Fucking knock him the fuck out. Hey, yo, shit. And I'm like, bam, motherfucker. And I'm like, man, that's fucking dope as fuck. 
Yo, yeah, man, you know that uh, you know that you're not supposed to drink the bong water, right? You pour it out. <laughs> yeah. The man yeah. Hill care about his brand of his ego rather than the IQ of a fighter. That's why he lost. I, I I have to ask: Do do we put Pereira up as one of the scariest human beings to ever fight in the UFC? Ah, oh, get away from my bed. Definitely. I, I think he's <laughs> at least top three. Big nightmares! Holy shit. He's up there. That stone cold face, you close your eyes and you still see it. Every time I hear every time I hear Shama, I go. <laughs> Y'all funny. Yeah, I, I definitely can can go off about uh Pereira. I know Damien, you gotta bounce out. Do you wanna say anything else before you dip? Uh no. Just peace out to y'all. Nice seeing y'all yeah. on here. Uh, good seeing you, my boy. Love with your fight, Damien. Yeah, when's your fight? Good luck. Yeah. Catch up on the twenty seventh. So uh, eleven yes, days. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. I got to bounce later, y'all. All right. Peace, 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 peace. 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 Um, right. let's. I let's... just want to. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna rant about Pereira, but if we're gonna go over the card first, I'll wait. Yeah. Let Let's no. go over the card. That way we can get a a good look at it. Um, there was some Figueroa and Cody Garbrandt. I mean, isn't it interesting that, like, <laughs> if you really think about it, you haven't even thought about that fight? Like, these are two former, let's be honest, like, this card was so packed that, like, even though it was a finish, it was a submission, it was a dominant mm-hmm. win, like, have you really thought about this fight since it happened? Uh, not, not really. Not yeah. Really. I knew he was not, and, I knew he was not the same anymore. I knew he was. Ever since COVID got affected by him, he's like... He, he he made excuse about uh, you know I think he yeah after the post fight he like he kind of complained about I had vertigo blah 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 and I was like yeah oh did he yeah you yeah. did you can check oh you I did. didn't see it I haven't heard it you did he had, Wait, a, he that, got vertigo yeah. no that wasn't after you got a, this nah, part, you got though, a case you got a case part. of ass whooping that's how it, that's how it. it's over that's it. I thought he said like there was some big issue with his arms or something after that fight with uh, Trevin Jones. He didn't have something with this fight, though, did he? He said he made an excuse about... Oh, his neck. Oh, well... I mean, R was his back. R was his pussy. R is crack. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, real, oh. hey, real fast, real fast. Warren to the G. What's good, dog? You got the stripper pulse in there? What, man? Why well, you think... Uh, my screen's blurred out in the back. So I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> That never oh, happened. Your boy, your boy came prepared. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's good to see you, brother. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm seeing. Um, taking a look at uh Bobby Green versus Jim Miller. I mean, hey, I was Bobby surprised Green. about that. Yeah, yeah. Your boy Jim Miller took Bobby an absolute for like a champ, boy. I'm like, I mean, I, as soon as that fight was over, I texted CJ and Jason. I was like, so you want to be a fighter? Mm-hmm. Like, now I really want to see. I really want to see Bobby and Pad and Paddy now. That, yes. That's the fight oh, to make. It has please. to be this. especially after that call. Are you are you Paddy fan? Are you Paddy fan? Are you are you a Paddy? Fan? Am I? I'm a I'm a Bobby fan over a Pad over Paddy for sure. I mean, I think Paddy Paddy ruined his whole stick when he lost when when he won against Jared Gordon and went out <laughs> being like. Oh, it wasn't even close at all, and whatever. So, no, yeah, no, I'm not a fan. I bless your mind. You are good. You hey, so, good. so real fast, everyone. How do we see that fight playing out? Bobby against Patty. <laughs> Who do you got? Quick. Bobby. Uh Bobby will win. Yeah. I already, I can already see it. He's. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be hilarious. Patty's gonna head is gonna be like what? Like got constant getting strikes, and he still won. And Bobby Green's like, I hit him 200 times. He's like, I'm a scholar. Oh, can't beat me. I'm like, man, shut your bitch ass up. Yeah, I get out. I can see third round, third round finish from Jabs. We just, he's going to get hit in the face so many times and then he's just going to break at some point. He's not going to be able to take a good fight out of the three rounds. I think it'd be a good one sided fight. Patty will probably go for takedowns. He's probably not going to. Not gonna get them. And he's just gonna be stuck on the yeah. feet, throwing punches like this. Oh, Bobby gosh. Green. Right. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. What about you, CJ? 
Oh, Bobby, you know I ain't picking against Bobby. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and get Bobby Green his shorts. Get him yep. the the Suwu oh, red yeah. shorts, the bandana yeah. red shorts. We need those ASAP. I told you. I've been telling you about that. I honestly think Patty wins that fight. <laughs> Why? I mean, there's a world where he does. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, he, he skated he by this whole time. Down. He takes him down and dry humps him for three rounds. I think it's a clo- I think yeah. it's a closer fight than you're making than than we're all making out to be. I think. Yeah, I think for it'll sure. be it'll be a it'll be a war for sure. I think I think Patty's Patty like Patty has skills. I don't think he's like some some absolute nobody. Um, but I still I would still take Bobby in. Just I just think yeah I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it would be a close fight. I think either one way Bobby just styles the fuck out of him, or Patty just dry humps him. I don't think there's gonna be a close fight either way. Yeah, gotcha. Um, Jessica Andrade versus uh, Marina Rodriguez. It was a good fight. I'm not gonna lie. I picked Jessica to win, but I thought after watching the fight that uh, Rodriguez yeah, I won. won. Yeah, I thought Marina won Marina as well. Won. But I was like, hey, a win is a win is a win, so I'm gonna take hey. it. Yeah. Um, but let's get to the biggest loser on the whole card, Jalen Turner. Um, <laughs> no one was a bigger loser than Jalen Turner. And if uh, and if you didn't watch the the instant UFC 300 um, thing that we videoed with Jason and I on Sunday, um, I mean, he tried to do the walk off KO. Uh, it backfired. He ended up getting finished. I, I just uh, what no what the fuck was Moicano talking about? In his post fight interview, <laughs> absolutely <tried>. nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. Don't have a clue. Oh, that was nuts. Like, I can't afford I, I to lose. <laughs> listen, I fuck with. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but that re- resonates in me. I can't afford to lose. Like I fuck with it. Listen, yeah. not only at this point in time in the card was I 3-0 and because the only one on the pod with the testicular fortitude pick, to didn't pick, you pick Jim Money Miller? Mercado. You picked Jim Miller. <laughs> We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. We're skipping over that. You just literally so, picked Jim Miller. So you're 2 and so one. like I was saying. I picked exactly. Money Mercado Jim Miller. <laughs> to because I knew it. 30-25. And we're going back to to, to what was that thirty twenty five nasty work. Jason Thomas, where call me a prophet because I predicted it was going to happen. Jalen Turner, like I said last week, you look on paper, he's everything you want in a fighter, everything you want on paper. But when it comes down this, to business, he's not that dude. Stop at this shit. He doesn't need nothing. He has no KOs. That's the one thing I don't like about him, though. That's a- he has never. That's a gunner pound. He is not a striker. You know Charles way better than Swift and did that motherfucker. I know he can't strike. Patty can beat him though. Wait, Patty can beat huh? him. Patty probably. Patty beat can him. Him. What? <laughs> ah, he can. He's Patty is actually a better striker than Makano. I will dare to say that shit because I'd, at least I'd he agree has with that. I will I'd agree dare with that. to say that shit. Have y'all seen the training video of Patty in Thailand? Are you fucking kidding me? This is a joke, right? Am I being punked? When this time Makano has a KO, he has never got a TKO. He has never killed. What happened to your boy Tony Ferguson? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He took a flying knee right to the jaw. I'm just Oh, my God. Hey, that's not Tony in here. That's not Tony. That's That's a scroll. Yeah, <laughs> Tony Ben retired. Tony's gone. Damn. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it was what it was. Uh, do you guys feel like, like, are you guys hyped about Money Mokano? Like, the crowds go crazy. He yeah. keeps having, like, these long yeah. soliloquies and stuff. Guy. And it's just like, I'm not really into it, but are y'all feeling it? I don't really... No, I don't feel it. It's funny As for a little like bit. He's, doing, he's, hey, he's yo. doing the most he can with his fighting style. Like, I mean, like he has to he has to talk or else we're not gonna talk about him, really. Isn't that isn't that it? Like so I, Yeah, uh, that's true. That's true. I think it's it's funny in the moment, but like once the interview his post fight interview is over, you kind of just forget about it. It's like, all right, well, if he comes up again, you know, we'll be excited. But past that, I'm just like, all right. You don't How really many fight times well. is he gonna do? 
Yeah, how many times are we going to do this shtick, though? How many times are we going to, Molly, we're calling, and just screaming and being oblivious and, like, 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 how many times yeah. are we going to do this? The first time in, in New York, it was cool. The second time, it was like, okay, this time I was, I literally put the TV on mute, so I don't even know what the fuck he said, and, I did, and I'm not going to go back to watch it. He, he did tweet <laughs> Apparently, out, he, he was up there giving financial advice and telling people that they need to read um, a book and all the, uh, he did. He did tweet out. He said like, because Max is now ranked like one place higher than him in the lightweight. Which is ranking. bullshit. We'll get to that. I know it's crazy. That's crazy. We can get onto that. But he tw- he tweeted being like, "There's no way I'm fighting that scary motherfucker." <laughs> After <laughs> Max knocked out Gaethje, so at least more kind of respects. Your... Respects. Warren, what's the... your idea? so? How do you feel? Truly feel about Jalen Turner right now? How do you? Read it? How do I feel about Jalen Turner? Oh, yeah. I think he's a I think he's a fucking dumbass who thought that he was on <laughs> UFC three hundred and was just gonna get a walk off KO KO on Moicano when the rep didn't pull you off. Especially with this kind of finishes that we've seen in the past against uh Jamie Malarkey, against Brad Riddell, against Bobby Green. You got fifteen extra punches on his dead corpse and you wanna go off with one punch yeah. KO. Dummy, finish the <laughs> fucking fight. Finish the fight. Right. Whatever, whatever. I, 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 <laughs> it's the I, but I, I whatever. Probably I'm didn't want to get all these the years. I, I, I guess I know how to finish a fight more than Jalen Turner does, and want to actually, you know, want a bonus. But that's just me. Whatever, <laughs> dumbass. That was nice. Like, hey, if y'all ever watch the Joe Budden podcast, he always goes stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. that was Jalen, and you know I don't like to talk about fighters like this because like they are professional fighters and stuff like that. But this is one of those moments where it's just like, yeah. put your like like. What are you doing? What what can we say about this? Like it was ridiculous, and it was so obvious that he was doing it because of the three hundred k. But then to go back out there and get finished, it was like, come on, we came on this pod, we was defending you, y'all, you made Jace right. That's where the real issue is. Like <laughs> Jace, you made us. I had to text Jace and tell him, yo, you were actually You're right. right. That's my problem. You're right. You're right. You're right. Real like, fast I, before we move on on this, I just want to say I think it's so disrespectful in the MMA community. Saying that like Jalen lost the fight and Money Mikado didn't whoop that ass, it just it just blows me fucking away. Is that what? No, Mikado, he's a Brazilian. He ha- he have to like knock up this guy. They got that dog in him. And yeah. I noticed Jalen. I'm like, he had a rough weight cut. If you can hear the press conference, he was like, he was dying. He was not. He was not energetic. I could feel it. This guy's way too big. Speaking about Brazilian dogs. Diego Lopez. And he's Mexican Diego Lopez. Also. I mean, yes. what a perfect mix. Is that not yep. a perfect mix? I mean, Dog your boy. And, uh, he got the spirit of Achamolete. You ain't going to kill me. I'm going to go off. Mm-hmm. I, I rewatched that this morning. I was like, it, there was no difficulty whatsoever. I don't even think he got hit, really. He just went there. No. Perfect uppercut, and it was over from right there. I mean, you could have watched that fight again while while taking a piss. <laughs> it's, it's very quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, who do we want to see him up against next? Because currently they have Diego Lopez ranked at fourteen. Um, so you know he has a whole you know the whole one forty five in front of him. Uh, who would you guys like to see him up against? Josh Emmett. Uh, yes. 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 I'd, okay. I'd like I'd actually I'd like to see him fight Danny Ige. Danny Ige has never been finished, and Lopez Lopez has been finishing oh, all his opponents. So I agree with you. I, Benny. I think that would be a good fight. He has a lot of people he could fight in that division. Yeah, and, and, he, and <coughs> he could be exciting. Barboza, I would. I don't want to see a, that crime. A scary fight. Barboza is a scary fight. I, I would, would be, love to see him fight. Double A. Uh, that's, a that's, that. a high, that's, that's a high. That's a high jump right now. Uh, that's, uh, a big, big that's a big jump. jump. Oh, I, I'm not saying that I don't think they're gonna give him the fight. That's just the fight that I would like to see him like fight personally. That's what I think, I'm I think but seeing, I think he should he should fight a little bit, uh, a couple other people until he gets there. Yeah, Arnold. I think seeing how, how well Max did today or uh, uh, on the weekend uh, that just shows how good Arnold Allen is. Like, I mean. He he no, but he gave he gave Max a better fight than most people have given Max in the last few years. 
Who did? Arnold? Arnold. Who did Luke Oh, I think Arnold. You thought so? I, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Sky. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> Sky. You think so? <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, okay. I mean, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, it is. Hey, hey, Arnold Allen almost got Justin Gaethje. Okay. <laughs> there was one second left in that fight as well. Um. Um. Yeah, I would like to see Diego against. I would like to see him push him, right? Because Giga was the was the last hot train that was going through there, um, and then I remember like where people were like really really hyping him up. Um, Arnold <laughs> Allen never really had the hype because he was, Arnold Allen never really had the hype because he had those injuries. So it was kind of just like yeah, we knew he was on a winning streak, um, and then Giga got completely shut down. So I mean, I would like to see Diego against somebody who could, you know, potentially. Elevate his stardom. I mean, his stardom is mm-hmm. already pretty darn big at 145, and he's mm-hmm. uh, was his third fight. Um, so if he did go against somebody like Josh Emmett, somebody who does have that knockout power, and he's able to get past it and finish him, I mean, it puts him in a good position. And I do want to see him versus Movzar Ivalov eventually because yes. that fight was razor thin, and he was Real coming fast. off the couch. Real fast before we we move on from this, what is it about Diego that we love so much? Like this dude is literally just caught fire out of nowhere. Like what is it about him that is so alluring besides the hair? Where are you? The, the way he came off the couch. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, he, to be honest, he's he just like he's like you know. I would love. You know, I know this is gonna be some fucking cool. I really want to see Diego Lopez just by Aljo. I just like, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm down for it. I'd like to. I mean, I'm fine with him fighting Aljo. Um, I think he gets Aljo the fuck up out of there. Yeah, I, just, I agree. Aljo, man, they won't. They won't give Aljo that fight though. They're gonna try push Aljo a featherweight. I think. You know. Oh, uh, we'll see. Holly Holm, Kayla Harrison. I mean, light work. Ooh, ooh talk about big winners of the night. She was looking scary, dude. Scary. Fucking Freddy Krueger out there. Who'd you May pick wait. on that, Jace? Did you pick? <laughs> Kayla Harrison. No, you didn't. <laughs> did you really go with Holly Hall? Yes, he did. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be another Ronda thinking? Rousey situation. <clears throat> Switch it up. Dang. CJ is not year old me. Holly Hall. I want to know if this new anti-doping agency is testing Kayla Harrison, to be honest. That's <laughs> Listen, crazy. Kayla, okay, I was watching this, and prior to, like, at the end of the fight when they're hugging and everything, I'm like, prior to Kayla, we would look at Holly Holm and be like, damn, Holly's cut. Like, she always looks yeah. very, like, cut and big. Kayla was massive. When she, like, when they were hugging, like, her biceps were, like, the size of a baby's head. Like, I was looking at my (laughs) six-week-old baby and was like, her bicep is bigger than the baby's head. Like, what is going on? Now, this is a totally inappropriate question. Say Um, it. But but I have to ask it. Who do you think looks more like a man, Kayla Harrison or Chris Cyborg? Oh, Chris Cyborg. Cyborg. Oh, Chris Cyborg. Because she got the face. Yeah, I got. I think Kayla. I think Kayla. Nah, because when Kayla was at the press conference, she was all done up and she didn't look that crazy. Cyborg looking like Vanderlei. Yes, even when she does her like makeup and stuff like that, still, still. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Well, look at Warren's face. Yeah, ain't ain't enough tequila in the world, boy. (laughs) And here's the thing. That's crazy. Kayla Harrison looks 60 shot. years old in the face, y'all. She looks Bro. like a six-year-old woman in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all silent. We don't slander. We don't slander women on this podcast. Okay. Yeah, I'll say you can do it. Jay slander. Hey, hey Sky, Jay you can do it though. all the time. Hey, because <laughs> Kayla might pull up on you, Sky. Hey, listen. I don't know. I think, hey, I would, I think the I, commentary. I'm pulling out. <laughs> Hey, Sky, if Kayla put up on you, we can't say anything. I didn't even thought of that. <laughs> you might be able hey. to take Amanda on, but hey, Kayla pull up on you, Jace. it might be a different story. Jace, if Kayla pull up on me, you going to fight her for me? 
Hell so, yeah. On, Thank you, Ooh. brother. <laughs> Where my baseball bat? So, so real quick hey, side story. throwing this nigga all over the place. Real quick side story. Sky had like told me that. And I was like, over Cyborg? Are you wild? I was like, no. I was like, shit. China from the WWE looked more like a man than anybody. Yeah. But it is what it was. R.I.P. Put respect on our name. <gasps> R.I.P. Yeah. Jody. Jody. Um, real quick, I mean, Aljermaine Sterling went inside there. He, yes. Aljermaine Sterling, he did what he did. He got the win. And and if we're being honest, I know that we're, <clears throat> not me, but like a lot of people are crapping on Aljo and the performance because it was a very lackluster performance. But let's really think about this. Y'all remember what happened to Kamara Usman? He got killed. And came back and looked very timid. He looked bad. And we we see this yeah. cycle with, with fighters, especially former champions, who get knocked out and they come back, their confidence is low. And sometimes you just need a win. You just need to prove to yourself yeah. that, hey, like I can come inside here and win. And so, no, it wasn't exciting. It didn't feel like UFC 300. But at the end of the day, the man needed oh, a win. Man. He was just he's coming off a loss. He just lost his belt. This is his first fight. So I think we got to remember that when like we are just like, what, what the fuck were you doing? Hey, long story short, it's MMA. It's an MMA fight. Work on your game, son. You knew you yeah, knew man. what the fuck you were about to get into, my guy. You knew it. He wasn't coming in there to go toe to toe. I mean, to be to be honest, with you, the reason why I, I give more like more expectation from Aldo is because Kevin Cater he tore his ACL, his knee when he fought with like uh, Arnold Allen, and he had like he had to rehabilitate for like after two years. Like he yeah. is a significant ring rust. So you have a guy who's pretty much like. Take me. You know you can you can beat this guy, go on upon him, Khabib style, but you didn't do it. It's just a, and this is the thing I, I always say about Aljo. He reminds me a lot of Usman. When Usman used to be boring and hold to the fence and like tree stomp his his, his his opponent over and over again until he met Trevor and he become a, a well rounded hybrid fighter. Aljo actually he could strike. He did. But I was like, dude, just let it go. Come on, come on, man. Just come on. <sighs> do something. That's all I'm saying, man. Yeah. Um, cool. Real quick, do you guys want to see Aljo in a title fight next? A just title yes fight? No. Okay. <laughs> yes. No. no. Oh, my God. Uncle Jail just oh. released the video. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a murder like, suit. Holy shit. I can't believe you even said that, to be honest. Well, that's, well Uncle Chell brought it up. Uncle Chell had a video oh, today, and he brought up the fact. Dang. So I'm just asking. Um, that's oh. the, like. I, I even though I don't like Tuporia, I would love to see Tuporia just oh do whatever he wanted to to Algerman, To be honest, he would, what he about would do Brian Ortega? Was, was. I would yes. I would like that. I would like Ortega. Yes. Oh, that'd be a really good fight. Oh my, you give me Josh Emmett first. Damn. <laughs> Why y'all trying to do <laughs> Aljo like that? I'm like, I'm like, <clears throat> I don't know, man. You know. I I, I, I I hate to admit this to actually. Ronda Makano has like more personality, even though his fighting style is not that great. But Aljo has none. No personality. Not good. He's not funny. He's not exciting. He has nothing. And he, I bet he's a nice, decent guy. That's it. That's it. He's, eh. uh, he's also a multi defensive champion, bantamweight champion. Uh, the most uh, wins in Bantamweight history. So no matter what we say or think about him, his resume is his resume. He went inside there and did what he did to y'all boy, uh, Corey Sanhagen, got him the hell up out of there. And so regardless of what we think, he has the record to back it up. And if and if he is the cream of the crop at 135, then what does that say about 135? Mm. But at the same time, he so, got the title by... by and went he, back and beat him. And went back no, and beat I, him. I don't think I don't think he beat him, but that's just. Oh my god! You and Jason. <laughs> hey, good are thing friends. that you're not a judge. No. <laughs> no, like, I mean, hey, good uh, thing we don't pay for you to think uh, uh, to be uh, score yeah. fights. No, 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 no. We'll get it. We'll get into it when we get to the Charles Armand fight. But I have a big rant about, and it includes Sterling as well. But we'll, we'll get into that. One. Nah, okay. bro. I, 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 yeah. I yeah, yeah. All right. One, one more on, thing before you go to the next one, though. Did you, uh, Sky? Did you see that video I posted on my story about Bill Burns talking about how much these judges get paid? It's yeah. not that much money. That's not that much. Honestly, yeah. what make what might make sense as to why 
they just don't care as much because it's just like, oh, I'm not getting a big paycheck. I'm only getting like a couple hundred dollars a fight card. Yeah. Like, I was I, I, I was reading that that wasn't necessarily accurate. And then it's also per fight. Yeah, um, per so fight. So it's not just for the night. It's not just like mm. X amount for the night. Because like even referees, like they get paid, they get I think paid. like maybe like 12, 1500 per fight or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, That's why her bean be everywhere. Hey, her be around <laughs> the world. Her be in Japan one night, the next Hot night. He be, yeah, he, he be everywhere. Um, again, but hold on, hold on. Let me say to you, let me say one thing about uh, Aljo, but to your to your to, to what you just said, I will say this Aljo is a champion, I will dare to say that. But there's one thing I will, I will, this is one thing, he will never become the people's champion. I will say that. Yo, people. Yeah. He might be my yeah, the, champs, though. Now, no, I'm talking about the MMA casual crowd and the people, the the way they love. Him. That's I'm talking about. That. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about that, brother, because uh, I'm on TikTok and there's hella people who rock with Aljo on there. There's niggas that have their name as Aljamain Fan 999. Shout out to bro, whoever he is. There's hella Aljamain uh, fans. So you know, I'm where I'm at when they boo. Where were they at when they boo him? Boom. I'm heavy. I'm heavy on the brother. I'm heavy on the TikTok in in the MMA community on TikTok, and trust me, it may not feel like it. There's but there's hell of people who rock with Aljo. No, there's not. I, I think people respect him, and I think he he deserves to be respected. But like, I just reason? I don't I don't think he's ever gonna be up there with. Like, I I think it'll be a while before we, we see it. Like when he retires, it'll be a few years before he's inducted into any sort of Hall of Fame, right? If he gets there. Oh, if if, if Cowboy Cerrone is in there, and if y'all put Jim Miller's bum ass in there, would, you better he, put he Al Jermaine be Sterling. I'm not <laughs> saying he's not worthy. I'm just saying that he's not gonna. People don't rock with Al Jermaine Sterling. He rubs people the wrong way. Yes, you're I always like gonna him. have you're yeah. always gonna have a few he? people who rock with him, but the overwhelming majority of people do not fuck with Al Jermaine Sterling. That's the a fact. most you're wins in bantamweight history. The most also, title also, defenses. No, Marlon Marais turned him into action man. So I. And, and Marlon Marais is a is a fucking punching bag. He's been knocked out six times in a row in the first round. Don't even bring up Marlon Marais. That Marlon man Marais is, is Caillou. That's what I know. Like this is and Aljo, like he went to like multiple press conference. It's like I just barely feel like the people like feel his vibe. The press conference like, is an indicator that I know that people actually feel for you. If people like, the only thing he does that cool is like, hey, let me show you my abs. I'm like, oh good. <sighs> Look really nice. That's it. I, mean, um, I mean, he got he got some cheers at the press conference. To be fair, he did, and he seemed yeah, pretty happy yeah. about that. So I was happy yeah, for him for sure. Um, yeah. Let's get to the real fight of the night. The real fight of the night was Yuri Prohaska taking on Alexander Ratchet. If yes. we're being honest, this should have been the fight of the night. Um, <laughs> they went out there and banged. I what? are you a samurai? I, Jay? I actually love Yuri. I I, I don't I don't. Oh, that's a <laughs> I I fuck with Yuri. I fuck with Yuri. Yes, heavy, man. He, he he believes it. You know what I mean? It's it's and it's not a gimmick. Like it's who he really is, dude. It's great. <laughs> guys, it's phenomenal. Oh, oh fuck me. Do you what guys really is? like his striking style though? Yes. Oh, uh, if it if it if it works for him. Yeah, exactly. It makes it makes me anxious, but you know, it's, I'm it's like, part it's, at the same time. Yeah. Like I, I'm the stylist. And his style is like to be hit, but to hit more harder and faster than my opponent in their range, because he believes in his cardio and his durability on his chin. That's why he like he. That's why he wants his fights. He likes to take risks in that in his opponent's range. They say he bob and weave. Sometimes he gets hit. But he's like, I still gonna do it, and I'm gonna like boom, boom, boom. That's how he wins. But sometimes that's that's why he's a terrible matchup for Alex. Remember at his first fight, he was like, like he said, if, if we're gonna fight with the sword, I will choose the sword. As soon he experienced those leg kicks, he was like, fuck this shit, we're gonna wrestle. <laughs> fuck this um, shit. <laughs> who do y'all want to see Yuri fight next? Jamal Hill. Jamal, Jamal didn't call him out. Jamal Hill, yeah, I think that's a good fight. Okay. So, yeah. so if he fights Jamal Hill, who does Alex fight next? Thank you, Thank Thank you my brother. Brother. Yeah. Log him in. But you know, uh -huh. Alex wants to he actually want a quick turnaround for like three or one, and I feel like Magomed is going to take that fight. There's only one guy who take that fight. 
Khalil Roundtree. Ah, oh, sign me up. I I yeah. love Khalil Roundtree. I would love yes. to see that fight, but I just don't it think it's going to happen. Suck, please, 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 please. You good dog. Pause. You good? Pause. Three hundred one suck. <laughs> Have you seen the car? Three hundred one. It suck. It's oh, terrible. yeah, three hundred one is God. terrible. It, it's one of it's the worst. Terrible. Um, Oh my god. What about you, CJ? Who would you like to see Yuri up against? Oh, uh, Jamal. Jamal? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'll be interesting. That'll be an interesting fight. Uh, real quick, let's because we need to get to the meat and potatoes of what actually yeah. really matters. Right Bo Nickel, Cody <laughs> Brennage. It was what it was. Bo did what he did. Yeah. It was over. Let's get to Charles uh taking our arm and Hold on, hold on, real oh, fast. Did you want to talk about Bo? Um, real fast. Listen, Bo is not that dude. Bo is not that oh. dude. What, I, all I saw was like when he fight people who got actual real takedown defense, like I think Marvin mid Tory gives him a fucking problem, bro. That's yeah. it. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, no, I feel that. I'm still not sold on. It. I, I no, 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 no. the UFC group chat. Everybody just praising him constantly. I I've said it since he got his first one in the UFC. It's just. I don't see the what's so special about him. Yeah. I, I I think it was a tough fight. It was like he didn't perform that well, but I think he showed his skill set definitely. Yeah, I think he showed. I think, <coughs> I think this is the kind of fight that he needed. You need ring time. You yeah. need to be in the octagon, beating people hella fast and getting them out hella fast is not going to be good for him. So he just needs to continue to climb the ladder. And shout out to Cody Brundage. He did as well as he could for the time being. But uh, Bo just needs extra time. He pushed it to the second round, and he got him out of there. And you can see that it's a, it was like a low-quality fight for a main card fight. But he'll just get better. Am I saying he's going to be a champion anytime soon? No, but he's a decent enough fighter to keep climbing that ladder. I'm pretty much on the same page, CJ. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Fuck Cody Brundage. This motherfucker was just there looking at the rev like, hey, can you help me? I was like, this. I, I, he's, he felt like he was just there like, I'm being the first. Hey, man. you seen that? <laughs> 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 like, hey, that disc like, came a little bit too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Cody Brundage is like, man, I was pissed because he kept looking at the ref. Give him a look at the rap, and he like he was like, "Can you help me? Can you help me?" I was like, "Man, fuck you!" I was like, "He was he, he felt he, his main mission was to lose to have been the first man to lose the decision for bonus." That's what that felt what it was like. like. I will say this, as they say, like Martin Vettori would fuck him up. No, I know one fucking guy would fuck him up. It would be Ikom Aliskorov. Ikom Aliskorov is the only man that Hamza could not take down, and he would fuck him up. Here. Let's get to the I ain't gonna potatoes. lie. I'm done talking about uh, Bo and the rest of them. Yeah. I could give a fuck less. Um, let's get on to let's Charles Oliveira taking on our Mr. Rookie. And I want to know Vinny, how y'all scored this. Vinny, you're up, Vinny. This is your guy. Yeah. I just, I need, I need to say something about this. Um, just, it's one rule that, that they have in the UFC that, you know, it's this. Do you know when, when Charles was on the ground and he kicked? Armin in the head, okay? Yeah. Look. Should have got a point. I get we have rules and I have we have rule sets, but one doesn't do that. And I think one has much more exciting fights in the maybe not not the quality of, of opponents or the quality of fighters that the UFC has, but I think the the fights in one are so much more exciting and you're able to knee, you're able to to do whatever in the head. It just stops these crotch sniffers, like not that Armin is completely a crotch sniffer, but but like <laughs> Like Sterling. Sterling was able to, I know Sterling won the title, but he was able to just sit. He was protected by the rules by sitting on his knee, uh, just covering up his head like that. And Jan got disqualified because he needed him in the head. That's not fighting. That's just, I, I don't know. I, that's, I for me, that like that's my rant done. But I obviously I'm, char, I'm biased to Charles, but I just, I'm just sick of that shit. Like the fact that he got a, a minute off for that is ridiculous. I think. I don't know. He should have got a point taken. Yeah, I'm surprised. Honestly. Yeah. It was a blatant uh, kick to the face. I would have taken a point. No. I, I, you're, I in, you're in a I, rules. This is not a street fight. He knows the rules. No, Everybody I, knows I, no, the but, rules. He tried to kick but, his face off. <laughs> I, I get that. But why is that not part of fighting? Like, I don't, like, for me, that's. For me, that should be, like, as I said, in one, we ha in one championship, there's we have this. And there, there's been no problems. There's been no safety problems. It's just as 
it's just a safe, I think. I, I, I just think it's ridiculous that, I don't know, I don't know. Obviously, I'm biased, though. But yeah. I mean, you know, we, we can go back and forth about, like, what the rules should be and shouldn't be, 12 to uh, agree, 6 yeah. to 12 elbows, stuff like that, you yeah, know. Need but, to, um, need to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but until they, you know, change that or don't change it, you know. That's the commission. Um, That's the you commission. know, the we're, we're acting we're, off the rules. Well, and um, do, do we think that, I like, I personally actually don't think Charles did enough to win the fight, but does anyone think that Charles did enough to win the fight? Warren. Really. I gave him the first round. That's your uh, guy. That's Vinny's guy as well. Hey, mine too. Honestly, I uh, I accepted the fate before I ended. I figured yeah. he wasn't. I figured he wasn't going to win that. If he didn't get that finish. I there is video of me jumping out of my seat when he uh, had that choking at the end. I really thought he was going to get yeah. it. When Armin went limp. I started screaming. <laughs> so then when he uh when he didn't get it, I was I was I was depressed. I was depressed. What's next for Charles? Uh, uh just Gamera. I don't want to see no fucking fight boy yeah. against Gamera. I I, 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 I don't want to see hey. Gamera ever fight in the UFC ever again. For real. Never. Vinny. Vinny, I'm with you, my boy. <laughs> Knock him out. Oh knock him hey, out. It would be satisfying to knock him out. I don't ever want to see Gamera on my screen again. See Gamera fight Dawson. Grand Dawson? That man sleep somewhere. He's still asleep. <laughs> Bobby Green. Bobby like, I forgot he existed. No, honestly, yeah, y'all don't y'all don't have like another uh, like a uh, opponent uh, or something that y'all want to see for Charles? Just Charles? Gam- honestly, Gamera. Gamera would be uh makes sense. It's gonna be the same thing. I don't like I don't like to fight with Gamrot for the simple fact because Charles will always accept being on bottom. Yep. Hey yo. Power bottom. Yeah, uh, that was that was pissing me off so much. I was like, you're not getting anything done. It's like try to make him try to make a, a move or try to make a transition, try to scramble. It's like it was it was uh, it was so frustrating as a Charles fan. It's almost it's almost like he caught a hold of the Tony Ferguson disease. Tony, very uh, well known so for that. just accepting being on the, I mean, honestly, accepting being on the bottom. Like, it's mixed martial arts, and it doesn't, this isn't jujitsu, so we're not just scoring just strictly you going for submissions, um, and you have to get up. And he, you know, you live and die by the sword. It, it is what it is. Um, but I think, do we feel like he should stay at 155? Should he try at 170? Yeah. Like, no, I no, think no. he's fine at 55. I, I, you know what? I, I I choose my suggestion. What about Benoit? Okay. Benoit no. sitting mm. Charles Oliveira. Sure. No, I, think, I like I that. Jalen, Jalen Turner should fight uh, Benoit saying thing. Here, here's the thing. <laughs> Why are you trying to kill Jalen? He, here's the thing. Yeah, about, he's a bum ass and he doesn't uh, deserve uh, uh, anything good right the, now. Uh, here's the thing about Charles, and I know we have two hardcore and Warren and Vinny uh, Charles fans. It doesn't matter who he's fighting. He's like Nate Diaz. Whoever he's fight, y'all are going to tune in. Y'all are going to watch. Y'all are going to, you know, sing your songs about him. You know, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that um, within lightweight or just in the UFC period, um, rankings do not matter. Time and place matters. That's why Dustin yeah. Poirier is fighting for the title. So if you're a Charles fan, don't give up on the fact that he could be back in another title spot. All it takes is for him to get one more win, and one he can be right win. back in the title in the title mm-hmm. picture. So you know, hey, look at Dustin. Um, look at Dustin. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, so you know, yeah. Dustin's fighting. He he got his opportunity because of time and place. Lucky bastard. Um, yeah. Um, so, you know, Armin, is that what we're thinking that Armin's up next after Dustin? Yeah, oh, yeah. So I think, yeah, absolutely. Like, they asked him, it, it, they asked him, hey, do you want the title shot? And he said, no, I'm not ready. So they give it to Dustin. Well, because he's fighting in June. This is what we in April, May, June. That's two months. It don't that's matter. Guy, I want to see, I, I want to see Max. Yeah, but I'd rather, I'd rather have Armin no. be ready to fight and ready to go to fight Islam. Like <laughs> Islam is just not no punk that you need. You need a full good training camp to go up against Islam. It don't matter, yo. It could be you like your boy, your boy, um, M- M- Michael the Count Bisbing. Be ready when they call. That's true. Listen, I'm calling for 
the blessed one to get the 155 shot. And now is the time for him to do it. At first, I thought like everybody else, I'm like, yeah, go back to 145, go with the Taporia. But Jace changed my mind because now is the time to strike while the iron is hot, right? He's coming off this win at 155. First of all, let's address the fact that they put him at number nine in the rankings, which is Crazy. absolutely Crazy. doesn't even make okay. sense how Justin Gaethje is still at, at number three. And you put wow. Max Holloway, who just killed him, at number nine, what are we doing? But also, Max all the people Holloway that should be beat. at number three. All the people that Gaethje beat are ahead of Holloway as well. It makes yeah, no sense. Yeah, it, it, it makes no sense. I know that the media um, is the one that votes for the rankings and blah, 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 blah. But this is absolutely egregious. Um, I think uh, Max Holloway steps over on just strictly based off those fights. Um, about the results of that fight. And if I'm Max, I'm shooting for 155 because, first of all, you get your opportunity again at the Undisputed to be a double champion, right? If you lose, okay, fine. It is what it is. You can go back down to 145. 145 is always there. It's always an option. 155 is a big option right now for you. Um, and why not? Why not? Because if you go down and you get 145 and you get it off of Taporia... Okay, cool, but you've already beat everybody except for Josh Emmett in the top 10 or, and Mozart Evil or whatever. Everybody else you've already beat at 145. So who are you going to fight next? Again, Volk, you know what I mean? So now we're back at like the whole Volk thing, and I know how y'all feel about that. But if you go up to 155 and at least try, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, no, everybody counted him out against Justin Gaethje. Oh, no. I didn't. I didn't. I'll, I'll, Stop I, it. Yeah. Stop no, no, no. <laughs> Up. Okay, so you want Scott? Scott, you want him to fight Islam, right? Yes. Hold on, I I I'm gonna say this with the utmost respect. Uh -huh. I admire your devotion of loyalty to Max, but he's gonna uh -huh. get his ass whooped. Hold on, he's yeah, gonna get yeah, his yeah. ass whooped. Hold on, no, 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 no. Gaethje, I will I will say this: Max is a better striker than, than Gaethje. I will say that. But Max... We knew that before. Lose. He wasn't saying that okay. before. Always he lose what? No, 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 no. Always lose what? Okay. Max always lose to opponents that is well-transitioned, well-rounded fighters. Like so who did he lose to? Volk. And, and what did Volk... Did Volkanovski out-wrestle him? When? He, when did Volk I, take no, him no, down no. and hold him oh, down? No, 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 no. What oh, did no, Volk no, no. do I, besides I, kick his legs off? That's not me. Oh, that's on the judges. No, 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 no. But I here, think, no, no. you're talking about a well-rounded. Who did he lose to that was well-rounded and that, and that, okay. And so in the Volkanovski fights, what did Volk do that is comparable to what um, Islam, Islam is going to do? Would do yeah. okay, wait, hold on. Did Volk use wrestling on the, all those, the one, two, or one, I don't know which one was, or one, two fight. No. Here's the thing. He it used did. it to seal the win in the second fight. But but where did he hold him down? Where yeah, did he, he have enough control it. time? Because we can bring up all the control time. Don't act like he sat there, <laughs> took him down, and laid on top of him. It I never happened. I would dare to say I'm pulling up the... I would dare to say that. To to say that to say it. To, I, I will because Arnold Allen is a... Well, Vinny, Arnold Allen is a well wonder fighter, right? If he, if he actually uses his wrestling and like in, in between of striking and wrestling... He would have won that fight. I will dare to say yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's Max, also like saying if he would have won the if he, if he didn't good. lose yeah, the fight, the thing, he would have won the thing. fight. Is it Listen, thing. let me tell I you. Gaethje didn't thing. get it knocked out. He would have fucking Max had a Holloway. Fight. Like, Max Holloway's to takedown defense is eighty six percent for a fucking reason. The same way that Jose Aldo. Right, who was a striker, went down to 135 and fought Marab. Marab couldn't take him down. Y'all got to get out of these fucking fantasy worlds and start looking at the stats and start paying attention to what's actually happening and stop looking at what you think is going to happen with these people. Max Holloway's takedown defense is one of the best in at 145. So who took So who took Max down and held him down? No fucking body. No fucking body. Sure about that. Connor. I am sure about it. It's a fact. <laughs> Give me one high level wrestler that Max, that he actually, the guy used his game plan to actually take him down. Who tried to take him down? 
Because there's a difference yeah, Max, in trying uh-huh. to take someone down and not being uh, successful. You, the, the, the best yeah, wrestler yeah. would have been Frankie Edgar, who was not successful. Oh, Frankie so tried. Frankie he was able to do Frankie it. Edgar. Frankie was able to do it with, with your boy uh, Marlon Chito Vera. Right? Because we know that Frankie was good at known for taking people down and grinding them. But he wasn't able to take down Max. And that was before. I can't wait to see this. What about Brian Ortega? Mr. Brian Ortega was supposed to be able, he was the jiu-jitsu dude. He was coming up, he was supposed to get him out of there. Did he use his wrestling? Did he actually use? No, exactly. Why aren't they able to? But that's the thing, though, because they they didn't use it. it. Just because they they didn't use it, it. you can't use that against them. You can't do that. Just because they didn't use it, that's their fault, brother. No, but but here's the thing that you're missing. Here's the thing, but it's not about that. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't implement your game plan. That might have been a part of it. You may have thought, oh, let me go inside here and take this man down. Then you get inside there. They're too fast for you. Oh, now they're, you know, they're showing you something. They're throwing those kicks up the middle. Now you're afraid. Oh, he's hitting that uppercut. He kept fucking beating the shit out of Justin Gaethje with those uppercuts, which I'm pretty sure he got from the Tony Ferguson fight. So when you're seeing that coming at you, it gives you something to think about. So you might think that you want to come in for a takedown, but you're not able to. So just because all of a sudden you're giving these people these scapegoats of like, oh, well, you didn't go for it. He didn't go for the takedown. Uh, Maybe he wasn't able to. (laughs) Therefore. No one has ever ever tried to use it in their work well game. That's their fault. Why? Maybe they should have went out there and done it. They're not at Islam Makachev's level. I would. Dare. We're not, but, but is, that's not what we're talking about. Which is true. Which is true. Now, but I you're talking about the you fighters said, that I'm not saying. I, I'm, not, hey, listen, no, I'm not saying that Max. You Jones said. Can't you said Max Holloway <laughs> always loses to a well-rounded opponent, and I said, "What is the yes, difference between both Islam is well-rounded? And Islam. He can, he can and, and what did he, he, do? Do this, he do? He beat but him he did not do that to Max. He, yeah, he did not take him down, hold him down, and choke him out. I, I Go ahead, Jace. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chime in real fast, and we'll, we'll move this along real fast. Everyone's a Max Hollywood the, the, fan. The, I'm the only Islam Makachev fan. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not Islam saying has, Islam has the personality of a wet tissue. I'm sorry, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I can't he, deal he, with Islam. He it's, knock on bulk. That's all it matters to me. I was happy. Yeah, but he's also been knocked out as well. So, that being said, this is not the week to... I mean, he was knocked out. This is not the week to to, to, to talk about uh, shitting on Max, the Blessed Express, exactly. yeah. all praise to him. We got to move it along, One second. Guys. I'm sorry. I have to prove my point. Let's look at the <laughs> control time in all three of these Volkanovski fights. Volkanovski in the hey, first listen, fight had 45 seconds of control time. In the Ooh. second the fight, he had. It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't have to matter. But 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 that was your point. Hey, hold on. That was your point. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hey. This, this is the thing, where people say they can show all their stat. But Sean Strickland has the same like high level take down, not take the defense until Drickers take him down. This is the thing. Everybody say, hey, look at the stat, look at the stat, look at the stat, and, and soon they go to the fight and actually win it for themselves. That's when the reality comes in. You could prove he got better stat. And the reality oh. came in. And the reality came in that everybody who was talking about. Max Holloway and that how he was going to die, end up like Tony Ferguson. He was going to get knocked out. Justin Gaethje was going to do X, Y, and Z. None of it happened. He sat there. He picked apart Justin Gaethje. He made him look ordinary and then slept him. Go ahead and shine, Sky. Go ahead and shine. Ride for your nigga. And we're talking about a collegiate wrestler. (laughs) Ride for your nigga. Now, Sky, I have one question for you. Uh Do you. Do you count that knockdown... Or do you count Justin Gaethje <laughs> putting down Max Holloway? Yeah, it was a knockdown. Nope. Yeah, nope. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> hey, nope. 100%. Hey, if it's not on the official book, nope. <laughs> hey, no, hey, hey, what Jay say? What Jay say? But did you, what happened? Where's the record? What did it say? <laughs> What's it say in the books? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean like I said, technically, yes. Yeah. Knocked down John Jones. He knocked him down. He, yeah. sl- he might have slipped, but he knocked him down. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Max Holloway stole the show. Everybody doubted him. Everybody said he couldn't do it, and he went inside there and made it look easy, simple. Uh, one question I do have for you guys, because there's been, like, a couple people in my mentions um, from when I've been commenting going crazy on everybody, and somebody was like, oh, let's not forget about the eye pokes. Do you think that the eye pokes in the second round uh, contributed to the fact of Max Holloway winning? 
Not as much as his getting his nose bleeding. Wait, wait, wait. Not, not as much as his getting him getting his nose broken as as, exactly. as the end of the first round. I mean, yes. God damn. There it is. There. And Max, and Max took advice That's from his wife. Hey, so brother, I have to do this like that. <laughs> That's funny. Nah, I don't think so. I don't. Think no, so. I don't. I don't think so either. That nose when he got broke, he couldn't. He couldn't breathe properly. That would affect his cardio. I would okay. dare say that. Let's uh, move along. We still got to uh, talk about the the women's fight real fast, and before I go off on my rant. Oh, you you have something to say about John Gwei Lee? No, damn, I was, I was gonna get my uh, crescendo or the. No, it's okay. No, go That's ahead, wrong. go go go. No, 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 I got it up. Nah. Not not their fight. I was gonna say I just I, I really love that fight from Max, bro. He went in there, he was yes. styling. Uh yeah. that's one of those fights I can go in there and watch over and over again. Shit, I was up at I was drunk with the gang and I, I turned on the fight again at like two, three o'clock in the morning to watch it again. I called Scott right after the motherfucking fight. And I know she had hella people calling her too. She put me on motherfucking hoe. <laughs> but we turned up right at the same time, bro. And I was on live with the gang on TikTok. And I was screaming and cussing at the at the live. So, man, that was an amazing fight for Max. And he he turned up, man. I'm so like, I'm hella proud for him the way he looked. And people was talking shit to me all week long. Oh, you dumb. You don't know nothing. Your name is your name. It's like, all right, bro. Put some respect on that boy's name. Actually, real fast, before we get off that, I'm just going to say this, and I'm done with it. It wasn't a great fight. It was a great performance. You know, Justin got the dog sheet beat out of him. He was tough. Justin was tough. It wasn't a great fight. Yeah. And it's crazy, Um, too, because there's a moment. I I forget what round it was, second, third, or whatever. It's like Max throws a combo. And Gaethje hits him with a right hook. And I had to rewind this like five times in a row. Like Gaethje cracks him and Max eats it. And he finished with a, with a four-piece combo and wobbles his ass. I'm like, bro, yeah. Max is on. Like, you know how we say when you're uh, you're just in the zone and it's like, hey, Max wasn't in there fighting. You know who was in there fighting? Jerome. That nigga Jerome. Hey. Was in there. Yeah, he was in there squabbling. So shout out to hey, my boy. Hey, teach your man how to squabble. Hey, you already know what it is, gang. Teach your man how to squabble. One thing I do want to say um, is that within the MMA community on social media, y'all have to stop with the same narrative. It's like, I don't know who creates the first narrative, but all y'all MMA creatives just run with it. And y'all hear the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. Everybody kept talking about the Dustin Poirier fight and and how he looked in. And I kept telling y'all, what year is it? It's 2024. And y'all talking about 2019. Wake up. Stop Mm -hmm. looking at that. Y'all just had, it was blowing my mind. Everybody was like, and I kept telling people, if you're looking at 2019 and still think that that's Max Holloway in 2024, you're going to eat your words. Oh, I ran back through all them comments. Yeah. Birds, Birds was chirping. This even after the Arnold Allen fight and the zombie yes. fight, you can see the, the the different little tools that he put in yeah. the kicks, the motherfucking spinning back kick to Justin is crazy. And the thing I was telling Mo, I was like, bro, people throw things like that and they don't never land. He hit that motherfucker like five times in the fight. Every mm-hmm. time. So, yeah, yeah he, he was he was at- elevated in there. Accurate. All they kept, all they kept look accurate as hell. All they kept talking about was Justin Gaethje's power. Gaethje gets his power. And when I kept telling people Justin Gaethje gets hit ten point four times in a minute, Max Holloway gets hit <laughs> four times. But y'all keep talking about Max Holloway gets hit a lot. He gets hit a lot. And y'all told me that Mr. Pillow Hands wasn't gonna be able to hurt Justin Gaethje. Mr. Pillow Hands hurt him in every single round. Go back and watch the fight. It was wobbly, ridiculous. Wobbly. The all defense right. was so amazing, that's all. Too. I just want people to stop running mm-hmm. with the same narrative that they heard somebody on TikTok say, and y'all just keep saying it because y'all think that it makes you sound cool. Have an original thought. Anyways, uh, Zhang Wei Li <laughs> taking on Yan. How did y'all feel about <laughs> Zhang's performance? Because she almost, she almost got <clears throat> taken that bitch out. was sleep. <laughs> that bitch was sleep at the end of I the first it. round. The first I, fight, I, I, do, I do think the one, one thing I took away from that fight was fight. one second. One of y'all uh, at one time. Go ahead, Warren. I was just saying she's the first fighter the to get that, a uh, TKO cool. submission and a decision all in one night. <laughs> Facts. What'd you say, Vinny? Facts. Vinny, you go. 
I think I think Vinny has a lag. Um, yeah, come out, come back in. Um, that fight, oh how y'all? I mean, honestly, how were y'all actually able to watch that fight after the Max Holloway fight? No, I was, <laughs> I was, uh, I was hyper the hyper the escalated. I was like, <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's what it felt like. Hyper the escalated. He's like, <laughs> oh shit, oh my god, oh. And you're like, you, you, you didn't feel anything. That's what it felt like. Pause. Uh, Pause. You know what's Later funny though? Not not going 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 back to the going back to the Max fight plus this fight is that the things I've been loving the most about it is watching everybody's reactions on YouTube, all the fighters. It's literally like a fucking roller coaster. You see him point down at the ground, they get the bang, and everybody like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they see it, and it's a fucking crescendo. Everybody like, wow. I've been loving that. But going back to the Yan and Wei Li fight, like I watched it, but I was I was too turned up from the other fight to pay a thousand percent. My energy was spiked up to the gods. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I was watching, but I wasn't like there watching. Like things were happening. I was on live, but I was I was still cussing at the screen talking about Max. So facts. I had to go back and yeah. rewatch that fight again, and that was an amazing fight too. Uh, Yan did amazing. Wei Li did amazing. She she was sleeping the first round like she looked like a cat when they throw up when she got up she was like, <laughs> 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 but yeah that was a good fight. Yeah, um, uh, bless you. She got gone up on thirty strike and the, the referee was like, nah, she's she's still not getting enough. I was like, what? I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that that was absolutely nuts. Um, let's move on to the main event. Woo! Al Prayer versus Jamal Hill. It is what it is. Jama. 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 What'd you think about it, Warren? As a fellow Michigander. Oh, no. uh, (laughs) Michigander. I I had to look away after. It's one of those KOs where it's like after the Usman KO. I just can't watch it too many times. It just hurts. It just hurts me to my core. I've been screaming, Jamal Hill's going to get first round KO Whoa. all week. <laughs> oh, my <There> God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I've been I've been backing him this whole week. So for him to go out like that, it, that, that hurt my soul. That truly hurt my soul. And I, I won't be watching that KO much going forward. What do you I think about the that. fight, CJ? Uh, still riding high off of Max Pause. Um, <laughs> the thing is weird. I felt like the fight ended in like thirty seconds, but then I seen clips of where the timestamp was. I was like, "Damn, it, it, they fought a little bit longer than I what I remember." Maybe because I, I was the still exact same way. Maybe I was still because I was already faded by that time, and I was still screaming at the screen <laughs> talking about Max <laughs> turned up. So when I seen the timestamp, I was like, damn, this fight, they they did some things. So I went back and rewatched the fight. And, you know, Jamal had his moments until he did it. <laughs> he was doing decent. He had leg kicks. He kicked to the body. And then the nut shot, heard, he said, hell no, put the boy to sleep. What would you think about the fight, Vinny? Yeah, I think uh, Vinny is probably still off right now for some reason. Um oh, no. I thought that it was a, I thought that it was a great uh, performance by Alex. Uh, you know, he went inside there, he got it done. I'd like uh, for him to be on three hundred one against Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall said that he's ready. Uh, the celebration, the celebration is up there with Izzy and the arrows for me. I mean, I lost my mind. Just, I, yeah, I, I thought that I thought everything was amazing. Um, you know. Yeah, this is your guy, uh, Alex. Yeah, my my thing is like with 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 Alex. Uh, I mean, this is a crazy situation. His his career, his story career is is looking crazy right now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Is Alex already a Hall of Famer? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. 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 
Uh, His yeah. last five opponents were either champions or former champions. And he only had like seven fights in the whole UFC, right? Here we go. Time for the Jace rant. Let's Y'all go. know I fuck with Poetan. I love everything about him, his aura, his energy. You know what I mean? Like, like real life uh, Undertaker vibes is what you get from him. You know what I'm saying? Just like, oh shit, this motherfucker is all <laughs> fucking business. You know, the the celebration was unreal. And here's the thing, man: if he goes and he does this. And he fights Tom, and he beats Tom. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. In my book, the greatest mixed martial artist or combat sports person alive, no matter what happens after that, going up three weight divisions and getting titles, even if it's an interim, I don't give a fuck. If he puts Tom to sleep, which I think he's 100% capable of, it's it's a wrap for me, son. Call me Trojan to survive. He will be the greatest combat sports athlete Ever also the greatest story in MMA ever. It's crazy. Like, if, I uh, Alex is who we thought Hamzat was. Yeah, agreeable. I agree with that. I mean, like this is who I thought Hamza was. I thought Hamza was 170, 185, 205 champion running through the division, and he's not. Alex is. I think Alex can go up and be heavyweight. He ain't gotta. He ain't gotta defend it. He ain't gotta fight Curtis Blades. Hey, <clears throat> he just has to go up there and win the championship. I'm like, shit. If Alex beat Tom Aspinall and he becomes the heavyweight champion, dude, he's gonna show those like three champion tra- champions belt like like Clay Thompson, like like who's Israel? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, you ain't shit. Ah, <laughs> shit. Well, and, me, man. And and an- another thing about him, and I was thinking about this today, is like, you know, we talk about being MMA and having a mixed martial arts bag, you know, to compete nowadays. Nah, nigga, we're talking about specialists, you know. And then I started thinking to myself, all right, so let me go down the line because people always say, oh, like grappling is a first base, wrestling is a first base. So if you start going down every single champion, all right, Pantoja, BJJ. The Sugar Show, a striker, kickboxer. You know what I mean? Um, Who am I thinking of next? 145. Taporia, boxer, Mm -hmm. striker, kickboxer. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, Leon Edwards, kickboxer. You know what I mean? Kickboxer. Then you go to to, to 185. Uh, Who's the champion at 185 right now? DDP. Kickboxer. Trash. Kickboxer. (laughs) Then you go to 205, oh. kickboxer, right? And then only at heavyweight, John Jones, a wrestler. So we oh. got to go back wait, to wait, wait. reevaluate. Wait, what about Islam? Wait, hey, wait. don't you do that, Jace. Wait, just because I would... What are all the strikers? What happened to all the strikers, Jace? Or would y'all all fucking I don't know why you're not talking about the real heavyweight champion. Thomas oh, what about, what, about, what about it, huh? Yeah. What uh, what happened to all of those Come strikers? On. Dustin Gaethje went to all uh, uh, to Charles. They all get fucked up, and Charles be got got beat by his own game by Islam. Don't you dare miss that fuck up, you motherfucker! Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you dare! Hey, oh respect boy, getting my, comfortable. Respect my man's name, right? Don't you ever. Do that. Don't this, you hey, ever. This right right here. Here. Fight back! Fight Bro, back! Are you, I was like. He said, oh, Leo. Don't let him bully I'm you, like, son. Don't let him bully you. you. I'm like, hold on. Where you, where you at? Don't you dare skip that shit. Oh, I don't even know what he's fuck. ranting about. What's he even, what's bro on about? <laughs> he's talking about Islam. He's like, don't skip over he Islam. Skip, like, oh, all these strikers. And I'm like, what about lightweight? Where are all the strikers? Like? Where they at? Oh, they got their ass whooped by Charles Oliveira. I'm like, but I, but you know what I do no, get Jason's point. No, he's talking about the specialist, bro. Specialist, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, they would skip, like, um, oh, oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, he he is a specialist, especially kickboxing. Um, but <clears throat> if, yeah, I mean, Alex is having a storied career. I mean, Israel Desanya summoned a demon. Yep. Absolutely. Mm. It's the best way to put it. That's a good thing. And he also was able to slay that demon. And he also got slayed. Hey. 
Vinny, okay. speak on it. Speak on it, Vinny. Sorry, speak on I, Vinny. I've been lagging in and out, lagging in and out. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I was not a big fan of. I know you, you apologized on your reaction show, but this whole that this whole idea that it Adesanya is Pereira's daddy when Pereira beat him three times in four fights is crazy to me. It's just crazy. I think. You do know that the son can eventually beat the daddy, right? But the reason why he's here, the reason why he has the fan base, the reason why he got carried up to the fight was because of Israel Adesanya, regardless no. of him beating him. Yes, it was. No. And if we don't have Izzy, he's not even in the UFC. He came in, what was okay. he, three and a, two and one or something? Okay, maybe maybe I can agree with that, but I think this whole, this whole idea that oh, Izzy doesn't deserve – like a certain amount of hate. I, I respect Izzy as a champion, but I think it just showed this weekend when Volk, I don't know if you saw Volk's reaction to Max's knockout. He was super happy for him. It shows like what kind of competitor uh, Volk is. He respects his opponents. And then when, when Adesanya was reacting to Pereira's knockout, it was like, oh shit. Like I, I he wasn't even happy for him at all. Yeah, no. So you wanted him to be what happy you want him when, to he, do? when he had no, been talking it's just, to, it's just, no, but he had been working just, with, but he has a relationship with Jamal. It's complete but, 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 bitterness. It's what did you want absolutely. him to do? Jump up and scream for joy for him? No, at the but fight? Like, yes, daddy. No, but just, yes, Ozzy. This, this is why people don't like Izzy. This is why Bro's people don't like Izzy. Bro's tripping today. <laughs> you know, but this here's is what why people don't like Izzy. He has a relationship with Jamal Hill, though. I, yeah, I so, understand that, but I, I, I also don't think Izzy's kind of helped himself in any way in how he's conducted himself a lot of the time. That's May that's I ask, what, what would example? you like to see from there at that moment? What did you want him to do? No, no, it's not just that moment. I think it's all Izzy's No, but you brought that up. I want you, what did you want him to do in that moment when they put the camera on him? You were like, no. oh, he didn't. He didn't do. He didn't make a face, and it was like, what you want him no, to yeah, be like? Yeah, at least that's, that's that's fair. I think like because look, okay, 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 hold on. So look at the same shit with Ilya. Look at Bro's face after Max won. No, like, I thought that was, no, I thought that was no, but like they haven't fought each other. It's not like they have a history together. It's like with Volk and Max. You saw like Volk doesn't hold any bad blood towards Max. Yeah, Volk, Volk was also bitter. at home. Volk was also at home on the couch. And Volk was that. just looking like a dad on the couch, chilling with his. He was in his chilling. He was yeah. big chilling. So when he was watching something, he's like, "Oh man, that's cool." Like Volk always gives Max his prize. So Izzy was probably more stunned on how the the knockout Maybe, yeah. looked. You know, I just but I it, think it comes also, across like, as bitterness. That's that's. Uh, that's my I and he was probably of, faded too. I watch a <laughs> lot of uh, Israel Adesanya interviews because I am an Izzy fan. And mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, he's always giving props to Alex, like genuine props. Yeah. Now, he's being sarcastic when he talks about uh, Sean Strickland. But, like, for the most part, like, I feel like he's being gracious and giving Alex uh, his props and being like, hey, you know, <clears throat> this is his moment, this, this, and that. But for the most part, like, you know, I, I think that, like he said, he doesn't need to go up and fight Alex at 205. Um, right. Alex <clears throat> needs that. And and I do feel that way because at the end of the day, who at two hundred five are we clamoring for? Go ahead, Jace. Who are we clamoring for him for him to fight? Three out of four, he doesn't need it. Three out of four, he doesn't. So need how come it. everybody keeps trying to rematch that fight at two hundred five? Because, because people want to see them fight, right? Like I want to see exactly. him fight. You want to see him fight, but but Alex is not the one who needs it. Is he the one who needs it? Why? If Izzy needs <laughs> it, then why? Then he could have taken it. They it's, offered it to him. It's like he does not Max, need it. It's like Max and Volk. Max. It's needs not the it, same not because Volk. Max has not gotten the win at all. Oh, Izzy walked off with a KO. Hey, it's just like when you playing basketball or you playing like some type of sport and you a kid and then like you you done lost every single game and you get that one game and you take your ball and you go home because like hey yeah, I got at least I'm living with the win. Has, has Alex not walked off with more than one KO? Yeah, exactly. Two. Uh, that second one was not a KO. But it listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Izzy is happy with his one. He's not running around talking about, hey, I got to knock him out again. He's not chasing after Alex Pereira. Alex Pereira left 185 
Alex could have said, hey, yeah, you got that one off of me. I'm staying here. Instead, he chose to leave and go to 205. He chose to avenge his master's death. And it's so honorable and it's a storyline. We all love it and we got behind it. Yeah. Look, I, I'm a, I gave Izzy knockout of the year last year. Deservedly so. I'm not an Izzy hater. But I think Pereira has outdone Izzy times, times I don't know, times two, times three oh, it's really? at this point. I like I would do, for me I would personally. Do. Alex Sparrow is way cooler than Izzy. I would say that shit. But yeah, that too. <laughs> that, too. I, I think, that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Cool. Really. Uh, I think all of this just has to do with um, narratives. Narratives that are running rampant on the internet. Like, let's go back. You know, the whole Izzy hate, a lot of it starts from the MMA guru thing with the dog. And, uh, you know, like, all of this stuff that, like, has nothing to do with MMA at all. It's just people just inside of shit that has nothing to do with anything. Like, when we are just actually looking at fights and skills, like, y'all are getting caught up in something that has nothing to do with anything. Aside from what is actually happening in that octagon. Hey, uh, real fast because we are definitely running late on time. I just uh, I, w- I want to hear everyone's prevailing thoughts from three hundred. Vinny, what do you got to say? Um, um, Mac. I think Max gained a, ho- a whole lot of fans. I've never seen. I I saw a lot of friends who I who I know that aren't into MMA post Max's knockout on their stories and wow. stuff like that. So I think Max is the real headline. As much as I love Pereira as well. Uh, Max is by yeah. far the headline. Yeah. What about you, Warren? I think overall this card it had all the all the big moments to just make that staple card that you know it's something that's going to elevate the UFC going forward. I feel like they're the standard is going to raise because of that. And after three hundred one is over, hopefully that it starts to become more of a consistent thing. We get more fight nights that are actually in crowds. We need to come back to Michigan. Uh, <laughs> these, these shitty Apex cards start to decrease, and we actually get some more balanced stuff out. Now that we got this like super fight card of 300, start dispersing these out and having some good main events and not um, Brennan Allen versus Chris Curtis, too. <laughs> and uh, who who's even the next main event? Alex Perez versus Mateus Nicolau. Yeah, that, 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 that should be a main a, event. Who gives who gives a fuck? Like oh, right Manil now, Manel pulled out. Uh, Manel pulled out. Uh, go ahead. What, what was the question about three hundred? I was just like, your what are your prevailing thoughts? You know, from three hundred. You know, in a sentence or two, because we're definitely over time. Like I said, like I said, what the headline was going to be and what it was. The best is blessed. Max Holloway went out there and did what he was supposed to do. Uh, real quick question. Um, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, CJ? CJ? Uh, I love 300. It was a great card. Everybody fought well. The excitement held up. Um, like like me and Sky, man, uh, I'm still riding high off of the Max's fight, bro. Like That's when that like, paused. That shit like, hit me for some reason. It's like I really, really enjoy the skill level that he displayed in that fight and I will continue to I'll probably go exercise and watch that motherfucker tomorrow but it was yeah. a great card it lived up to the hype um I think I right now I have a little bit of an MMA hangover a little bit of an MMA dump because man that shit was intense mm-hmm. but um yeah it was great man I enjoyed it M Oh yeah it was really fun it was a really dope card it deserved the money what's worth I I really enjoyed it my conclusion, Alex is still cooler than Izzy, no matter what. Motherfucker's dope. Uh, I think for me, I, know. I think for me, the, there's two thoughts that I think about about 300. I think one is the fact that the biggest loser wasn't even on the car. The biggest loser of the night is Alexander Volkanovsky. Because it's now it's like, what what does he do now? But wait, but wait, right? Because Max gets his shot first now. Like it's not even a question if he wants it. It's not even a question. So then it's, it's like a massive hey, who, fight. Yeah. So 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 now so now you got you know uh, Volk gonna have to take a, an Arnold Allen, Arnold Tager, something like that again. I don't know. And then secondly, 
uh, real fast. I just think as an overall whole thing, like the U.S., like 300, th- this is how big 300 was. 300 was so fucking big and massive, you know, of an event and spectacle that like no one's even talking about the fact that they finally announced Connor. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was like, going to say. Like, the, like that is an that. underthought. That is a sub story. Like no one's talking about it. That oh shit, we finally got a fucking date. And I don't know. It's just a little bit because like we're just like so pissed off that like it's been dragged out so much over time. But no one's fucking talking about it. Everyone's no. talking about Alex. Everyone's talking about Max. Everyone's talking about the event. And oh my god, this was fucking crazy. So that's it. I got, that's all I have to say about it. I gotta tell you guys, y'all gonna be sick when y'all see these UFC. Uh, 303 uh prices sick oh my god no i don't sick know. <laughs> oh I'll, I'll tell i'll tell you off off air because uh <laughs> let's just say that the nosebleeds is starting at 400 dollars, and that's a fact um real quick i've seen people talk about it y'all let me know was this the greatest knockout in ufc history yes or no that's really hard pause that's really hard uh, no. Don't oh. say it's really hard and then moan. That's crazy. No, no, because no. the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh I'm, shit! I, I agree with you. Hey, 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 I'm not. Yeah, you. I agree. I agree. No, 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 no. I agree. It's really hard because the reason why I can, I have to like look back and everything. I'm like, shit. That's really what. I I would say it's the best. I give it. I've ever seen. I give it top five. I'm gonna say like it's like. What about I don't you, know. Mark? I would say it's up there for me. It was one of the, the best ones I've seen. I wouldn't say it's the, my fa- like the best one in UFC history, but it's definitely up there as one of the top five. So I, I think for me, I don't know if necessarily the knockout itself was the best knockout I've ever seen. For me, that's still your boy Edson Barbosa, the I fucking spin kick. But yeah. when you think about the moment, when you think about the spectacle, when you think about what was on the line, when you think about like the moment of like, you don't have to do this, Max. Hey, woo-woo! Woo-woo! Hey, woo-woo! Omar. It's it's hard. It's hard not to say it wasn't the best. Maybe not the best knockout, but as Dana White said, the that was the best holy shit moment ever. Hundred percent agree. The number one holy shit moment ever. So what about Mazda? That's what I was gonna say, Vinny. Uh is it the best ever? No, I don't think it is. But it's it's maybe top 10-ish around there because it's also like Max was already stopped. Now, imagine if it was the other way around and Max was losing that and then he did that and then won. Oh, my God. That would have been hella crazy because well, well, he was well, already This stylish. is actually why – sorry. This is actually why I love it more because Leon Edwards was losing the fight and then was able to get it uh, with 56 seconds left, right? Damn, and that was nothing. cool. But for me, when we're talking about who got knocked out, who did the knockout – the fact that he was winning the fight the whole time, had no reason to do it, and the fact that he's Mr. Pillow Hands, the, and he's knocking out Justin Gaethje, Mr. Violence. To me, I mean, y'all know I was going to dick right anyways and say it was the greatest one. But um, awesome. that's what made it spectacular. But mostly is because oh, no. even with Yair, right? So he ties the record with Yair for the latest uh, knockout in, in a fight. Yair was losing that fight against Zombie, and that was a Hail Mary with the elbow up. You know, this is the first time that, like, somebody is winning the fight, has nothing to lose, walks into the middle, points to the ground with his signature, and knocks Justin Gaethje out. Mr. Pillow Hands, no one had that on their bingo cards. Especially because everybody was like, everybody was like, oh, he only knocked out Korean Zombie because the zombie's old and needs to retire and blah, 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 blah. And now all of a sudden the narratives have changed and Justin Gaethje gets dropped a lot. And now Justin yeah. Gaethje doesn't have a chin. And, oh, it's crazy what y'all started to do. Yeah, I hate <laughs> that That's that turns into a narrative that, like, oh, Gaethje sucks now. He's washed now. It's just like, come on, y'all. Y'all just literally no, 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 was no, going to no. say you he was going to beat the hell out of Max. Like, oh, people, people on a flip people of a coin, brother. Yeah, yes, 100%. And it's crazy if you go back and you see it in slow-mo where it has, like, Justin one inch – like down of him fully throwing and m- 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 missing Max Chen. Like it's right there where he, m- he misses it. But um, yeah, like, with that, I mean, I'll- hold on. But props to Gagey though, because he led himself to inside his range. He was like, you know what? Let's go, Bo. Fuck it. And he was like, and that that's gave him the, the, the whole bonus. Max gave, make, Max gave props to Gagey for that. I have to give Max no, props to No, he, he had to do it. Fuck it. 
he had yeah, he no choice. Like, he had no <laughs> choice. <laughs> I have you, to give props you, to KG. No, no, no. You um, have to give the props. You have to give the props to Max on that. Yeah. It wasn't that he allowed also, that, yes, that, but, that. That 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 Justin allowed it. Max allowed it because J- J- Max could have just ran around with his hands up like most yep. people fucking does. Anyway, so y'all keep going. I gotta. I got some shit to take care of. Yeah. Peace, yeah. love in the Middle Absolutely. East. Absolutely, go. and we are out of here as well. We will be back next week because um, there's still some topics from UFC 300 that we have to discuss uh, as far as Amanda Nunez and everyone else. This weekend on PFL is going to be on on the 19th on Friday. Uh, check out Kai Kamaka, you know, another Hawaiian that's going to get it done against your boy. Um, and until next week, we got to get up out of here. Peace. Yeah, peace.